Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. Um, the term bug out's being used a lot, so I just thought I'd go over what we have. Uh, basically our setup, which is basically a bug out setup, but also used for overlanding. So as an example, uh, we ended up going with a Toyota 4Runner just because we have two large dogs. Uh, usually it's my girlfriend and I going out, sometimes a few other friends. So Jeep, good vehicle, but wouldn't work for us for what we need. Um, so a lot of times we'll just take the 4Runner out. However, most of the time I find we actually go with the trailer. So this is an example. We offer a few different models. These are South African built. This is a Tech 5 built by Echo 4x4. We're the North American distributor for these. But I'll just go over a few features for you. Has a 75 liter fridge freezer, two burner stove. It is literally the lightest on the market for what it offers. Um, this is less than 1300 pounds. Has independent military grade suspension. Has a military grade electrical panel that can run off of the solar blankets that we offer as well. Uh, place settings for seven, or sorry, let me rephrase that, place settings for six, but it will sleep up to seven people. Um, other than that, uh, this does have hot water on demand, shower, all of that. The bed up top is a California King bed. That opens up, there's a 360 degree awning, and then the best part is it can be completely walled off. So if you've got bad weather or a lot of bugs, you can easily do that. Um, I'll just show you this here real quick. We're gonna do another video. But we also do offer Faraday bags as well, too. This is 126 liters. Everything I'm going to show you here in a moment, but like I said, we'll do another video. All of this fits into our Faraday bag, and it's something that I usually have at home just because of the interesting times that we're in right now. But how we heat the trailer is we've got a portable diesel generator right here. That's the red box. It's an all-in-one solution. This is a 5 kilowatt uh, generator that'll put out 17,000 BTU. So the best part is it's portable. We can charge, we can power, or not power, we can heat the trailer. Or if I decide just to go out or we go out with the uh, the forerunner with a rooftop tent, we can easily heat that. Let's say there's a blackout situation, you need extra heat, you can easily pipe heat, heat into your house with this. And the best part is, I have this wired, it'll run off a 12 volt battery, but I run it off our portable solar generators. These are an example of two of the, the units that we carry. The Delta, the EcoFlow Delta by far is my favorite one. It's the one I usually take with me. The reason I love this guy is you can easily run your, um, let's say again, back to a blackout. You could easily run your fridge freezer in your home. You could run a multitude of devices. Uh, this will actually, I can boost my vehicle with this if I needed to, the vehicle battery. I can charge the trailer batteries right off of this as well too if I chose to. Uh, and any of the devices that you see right here, which I'll go over right away. So part of our bug out kit that we carry, now this is going to be overkill for a lot of people, but we are powering a lot of devices. So I've got two 200 watt solar blankets here. You can see how small they are. They're actually only 13.6 pounds. Two 120 watt solar blankets, which are only 7.9 pounds. I got to say this, and I say it every video, and there's a reason I harp on this. These are 23.5% efficiency rating. Efficiency rating is the most important thing to know when it comes to solar. Uh, if the manufacturer doesn't state this or they use that up to symbol, think of it this way. Think of a vehicle when they say you're going to get up to so many miles per gallon. You never do. The only time you do is if you're driving downhill, there's a full moon and Garth Brooks and Enya or Madonna, they're serenading you in the back, back seat. And we all know that's never going to happen. So back to this. Sorry, just having a little bit of fun. Um, some of the devices that we do, uh, that we normally carry with us, and this all goes in our Faraday bag as well too. I normally have two AGM batteries. Uh, I usually have an emergency radio, three two, uh, 20,000 milliamp hour portable battery packs, uh, four portable uh, LED lights. We have three that will plug in through USB as well too. Two additional cell phones, a multimeter. We do have matches, but I do like the fact that all of these devices that I'm showing you and more, they all charge from solar. So here's uh, two lighters that we have, uh, secondary batteries that we can charge, um, the emergency radios that we have here as well. All of the cabling that we have right here is the cabling to charge this setup with the trailer, as well as the two portable battery packs that you have there, plus the forerunner with the MPPT solar charge controller. So this is, this is literally our setup that we have here right now, guys. Uh, definitely check out our website, offgridtrek.com. I'm going to do another video here shortly about the Faraday bag, because I know that's on a lot of people's minds right now. They want to know about that, so I'll have that in our next video, okay? Have a great day. Enjoy your weekend.